But when you look back on everything that you guys have been through, for it to come down to this, what would you say was your biggest takeaway for this season in the game? Um, the biggest takeaway? Uh, I mean, I mean, we didn't, at the beginning of the year, we didn't feel like we'd be in this position. Obviously, injuries made it tough on us, and we were able to still be in this position and uh, to give ourselves a chance and just didn't come out and, and uh, make enough plays. And I, I mean, that's just part of it. They were making a lot of plays. Kobe got going. I mean, Vucevic was playing really well. Everybody really played really well. So um, I mean, you got to tip their hats to them. And, but yeah, it's tough. You have a team like the Bulls that kind of stretched you guys thin defensively. Um, you know, how do you try to make adjustments on who to try to close out to or, or who to just kind of maybe focus your attention on? Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, it's, it's hard. It's not a series. It's a one game type of thing. So you don't want to, you can't really switch too much, too many things up throughout the game. And um, I mean, we, we had a game plan and uh, followed it, but we had to switch some things. I mean, obviously, certain guys got hot and um, so just kind of switching throughout the game, and some guys stayed high, and uh, they just kept making plays. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's tough sometimes. You said you can't really adjust too much because it's a one-game series, but you kind of went without the brace in that second half. Just yeah. what was that feeling, and you know, what maybe affected you in the first half that made you make that, make that decision? Yeah, I don't know. I just think I wasn't being as aggressive to start the game, and I had a few turnovers and was just thinking about it too much, um, just my hand. And so I just took the brace off. And um, yeah, my daughter was probably not be happy with me. I'm, she's probably just happy I made it through the game. But yeah, it was just frustrating to begin the game and um, just kind of took it off to kind of just have my mind not even think about it anymore. For you guys to get it down to five as, as close as you guys did in you know first half, and then you kind of get it within six, I think, in the second half. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say was maybe the turning point where things kind of maybe fell off a little bit for you? I mean, it's, the NBA is a game of runs. I mean, just like they they made runs and they were they were above. I mean, beating us pretty bad early. We we came back in the game and made it a game too. We had a run. So, um, but it's just tough. I mean, when you get down that much, fighting that way. I mean, that hard to get back in the game. It's it's tough to take the lead too. So, we put ourselves in a, in a tough situation. And I mean, uh, it's tough because I mean. I feel like we had a, we had a good chance, but we just we put ourselves in a tough situation, and they they played really well and shot the lights out. But um, competitive game, I think, kind of like summarizes your guys' this whole season. Just, what is your biggest takeaway from you know you guys getting back in the game and then kind of it kind of going apart in that third quarter? Uh, we got stops played together, uh, stayed confident, kept our head up, you know. And we got back in the game and then got back out of the game. That's it. When you have a team that has so many guys that can kind of stretch a defense, then I mean, how do you try to make adjustments in a game that's win or go home? Say it again. When they have a, a def or a guys on so many guys that can get going at any moment in a game that can stretch defenses then how do you guys try to make adjustments in a game that's just a win or go home situation? Uh, I mean, I guess the game plan was they want the double Demar, uh, so you you're, you're the players. You respect your coaches, and you follow the game plan. And now it's a game plan. Uh, you see, he was doubling Demar, uh, and it gave other guys confidence. And you're in the NBA. Uh, I wish they would have missed shots. I wish they didn't gain confidence this game. Uh, but you know, it's the NBA. They work hard. They're here for a reason. You know, so we're doubling one of their teammates all game long. So it just it's up to them to make or miss shots, and they made shots. So much pressure on the point too. How do you guys try to help out Clint Bruno and, and some of the other bigs down low? I mean, like I said, the game plan was you always trying to you was we was throwing two guys at people. So you know whether they caught the ball, they were either taking a shot or they had a lane to drive. And you know guys are rotating all over the place. Uh, you know, and that's it. You know, for me, I want to guard guys. Uh, that's just a prideful thing, you know, for me and how I was raised. But, you know, like I said, you follow the game plan. That was the game plan. And you win or lose basketball games, and we fell short. What stood out to you the most about Kobe White's growth this year? I mean, I'm proud of him. You know, I'm somebody that watches a lot of basketball. A lot of basketball. And uh, I root for guys that work hard and, and are great, great people. Uh, and DeMar DeRozan's a brother to me. 
and he speaks highly of him. You know, he says he works hard. Uh, you know, he, he's a great guy. Uh, he's handled his business. He's a professional on and off the floor. So, you know, when I hear those things, you know, I root for guys around the league, uh, you know, just to have success. So, you know, he, he, I think he's always been good. It just was he never really got the opportunity to showcase, you know, what he's showcasing now. Uh, you know, and the sky's the limit. You know, you got to continue to work, be a great person, and, and you know, the rest will handle itself. Just stopped falling kind of in that second half because you guys got back into it. We're down by five and yeah. um, we're a couple possessions away from getting back into it. Yeah, I felt, you know, we didn't start well. So a lot of times when you're playing catch up, it takes a lot of energy. And uh, it felt like when we did cut the lead, as you mentioned, you know, at a certain point we, we just ran out of gas. And, uh, you know, you want to dig down deep for, you know, a playoff game. But uh, hats off to Chicago. They played well. And uh, obviously not the result we wanted, but very appreciative of our, our guys and feel grateful to have an opportunity to coach them and, and be the coach of the Hawks. Yeah, I mean, for not to get too far away from the game really quickly, but for you to kind of go through this full season with all of the ups and downs, what, what's your biggest takeaway from how this team competed, how they grew? and? You know how they can continue growing yeah. going forward. I, I think that well, that's what you want. You want you want to you know you want to grow and try to get better. And regardless of you know what you're handed, whether it's uh, you know the, the dealing with adversity and um, you know, embracing it on some level is is you know what you want to do. And I thought our guys did that you know throughout the course of the year. So um, like I said, I'm proud of them and their approach and um, you know, obviously let this settle in. And, mm. It seems like the, the Bulls kind of threw a lot at you guys too, whether it was DeRozan, whether it was Kobe who goes off for how, how much yeah. he did, and DeSumo and Russo, and all of the, the that starting five just they seem to kind of stretch you guys thin a little bit. What did yeah. you see from the defense? Well, DeMar started really, you know, making shots and your game planning to you know, try to get the ball out of his hands if it's appropriate. Um, you know, we did a bunch of different things. And, you know, eventually some of the sumo and obviously Kobe White and pick and roll. A um, number of things that challenged us. Um, thought our offense hurt our defense at times. They were really good in transition when they made their runs. And that's a hard one to quote unquote game plan against. But, um, you know, like I said, any time you commit two to the ball in whatever situation it puts you in positions where, you know, you have to close out and people are driving driving you. And that, that was kind of a consistent theme. And if you don't do that, you know, you saw Kobe White getting into the lane. And uh, so a lot, a lot of things we can pick apart that, that uh, we need to do better. Um, but bottom line is that uh, we had a group that competed and, uh, as you said, went through a lot together, and hopefully that will make us better going forward. And as far as, uh, you know, DeAndre's night, not what you guys were hoping for, but what did you see from him that he tried to fight through to try to keep giving you guys something? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought, you know, we were worried about he stayed out of foul trouble. I thought he'd get a good job on DeMar. Um, you know, the shots he hit early um, were, were contested. They were tough shots, and he's capable of doing that. Um, you know, so, you know, we, we had a lot of guys. You, I know they, we wanted to play a little better collectively, and that's probably true of a lot of guys individually as well. Uh, last one, I, I don't want to keep you mm -hmm. going, but I know one thing we were worried about was just Trey's conditioning, you know, coming back. This is his fourth game back from injury. Just it seemed like he, he still needed an adjustment period, or, it, or did he seem like he had his legs under him tonight? I, you know, I, it's hard. I don't know. You know, the, the, they, you know, it was more of a collective thing, I think, that we reached a point where um, they put so much pressure on the rim and, you know, we had to respond offensively and we did for a while there. And then, um, you know, if you if you struggle to store, if you're not getting stops, we made some plays and um, a few times, like you said, had opportunities that we didn't convert and that uh, that's essential, you know, to score on the other end when we're, you know, undersized a little bit. and. And uh, playing against a team that, that shot the ball, I don't know what they were from three, 
Um, but it felt like they, they made open looks when we when we were uh, in rotations and things. And as I said, I think the biggest thing was, you know, driving the ball. They were on the rim a lot. Okay. All right. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Thanks for your courtesy. Yeah. Thank you.